We're in our pajamas because our dad forgot to pick up the laundry. <laughs> Hello, these are my children. Owatugileyo no buikucho. And this is me, Tats and Gonzo. And you're watching us watch you. <laughs> no, no, no. And you're watching. Oh, no. Okay, yes. Carry on. Carry on. Dad, why'd you do uh, that? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dad, why'd you do that? This is a show where we ask our dad questions about his life. And you cannot judge me because every parent understands what it's like to not pick up the laundry. Oh, gosh. Am I right, parents? Am I right? No, <laughs> you're not. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I apologize. I'm going to pick up the laundry tomorrow. Good. How was school today? Horrible. Good. Ah, ah, ah. What made, school, what did, what made it horrible? Well, not horrible. It was normal. Normal is horrible. It was fine. You guys are so bad at answering how was your day questions. Mm -hmm. Every single day sounds like it's always the same day because you always say either good or fine. It was fine. Yeah? It's good. My day was... It was mm -hmm. cute. My day was... Not that interesting, really. Not that interesting. Okay. Kind of like this interview. Uh, yes, remember, I'm here to get asked questions, and you guys are just... You told us to tell, how to school day? Oh, yes, you're right. I did so, ask. Okay, my bad, my bad. Let my me be quiet. again. Let me be quiet, and you ask me questions. I'm ready. First question. Okay. Me. Hit me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Nowadays, why is it that, like, you have a lot of money... Sort of, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. I think. I'm listening. Um, and you always, and when you like have the chance to sometimes like, because you can buy a car. Yes. But you don't buy a car. Yes. And I don't know why you don't, even though you can. And you always Uber. You don't buy stuff that, you don't buy stuff that you can buy. Right. I don't feel like I need a car. So when I was in Joburg, I used to drive what they call maxi cabs. So before Uber, you used to call on the phone and then a taxi comes to pick you up and then it takes you wherever you want to go. I've always traveled around like that. Because when I used to live in Tanzania, I didn't, I, would never go, I was never used to taxis. Like my parents used to take me from school to home, home to school. So you know when you see taxis driving on the street, I never was used to that until I got to Joburg. My first taxi I ever rode was when I was in Joburg. And it was scary because I'd never driven one before. You know what I mean? And then as soon as I got money, I started to use maxi cabs, like Ubers, but it wasn't on an app. And then when Uber came, I was like, oh, this is cool. So I've never actually really started that thing of... Got started to get actually cars. Yeah. But I know what I need. A what PS4. A PS4? How did we go from cars to PS4? I don't know. <laughs> so that's why, buddy. Does that answer your question? Yes. It sounds like you want me to have a car more than I want to have yes. a car. Yes. Ferrari. Are you just saying that because... A Mercedes Benz. Oh a Ferrari God. 1F. Guys, you need bigger dreams. You need like Elon Musk dreams. Elon Musk is making spaceships. A Ferrari you can get tomorrow. If this show... Gets big enough tomorrow, we buy three Ferraris. Oh. Just have to... The whole world! There we go. Now we're thinking like a Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when we were... Ask me, ask me something about Tanzania when we were in... in Tanzania. Tanz yeah. In April. The why question. were there only brown people in that, in that place? Say that again? Why were there only brown people? Where hot in Where where M Tanzan? Why are the only brown people M Tanzan? Yo, how do I begin to answer that? By Can we take a break? No. Oh. <laughs> well, oh. Okay. So Tanzania is a township. Do you know what a township is? Where people had to live, or black people had to live, and not we couldn't live in like cool houses and things. We had like to a mansion. We had to live in houses made out of. Metal. Right, okay. So Tanzania is a place where where yo guys. Do you know what race is? I'm scared to even go down this route. Do you guys know what race is? This is weeds. Race. Race. Like 
races. Race, you run. Why are the only brown people in Tanzania? I know Yay, what, what a question. I know what it means. What? Your skin tone. Say again? Your skin tone. Right. Okay. Like say, I'm not your friend only because you're black. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there is such a thing as race in South Africa. Race. Do you know how race was made? No. White people. <laughs> do you know what white people are? How do you know that? Because they used to be mean. So I need you guys to tell me, what do, what do you know about race or races in South Africa? Like people like being mean towards like your skin tone. Okay. And like that back in the years where white people um, <laughs> were being racist to black people and they didn't like black people at all, so they put them in townships. Right. And that's where I live. That's where my family was put. So that's why there's only brown people in the townships because that's where brown people were put by the government. And also you, and you said that uh, brown brown people only could have specific jobs, yes. like, like nurses. Being a nurse. Yes, mom, my mom was a nurse. That's why your mom was a nurse. Yes, so she was brown. Nurses. <laughs> uh, it was you could be a nurse, you could be a teacher. Teacher. And even then, it was certain subjects that you could teach. So all those brown people were put in in, this, in certain places in, around South Africa. And then Usually, it was like thirty minutes away from where the nice houses were, where, where town was. So you'll find if you go to Cape Town, for example, and you travel 30 minutes outside of where it's nice, you'll find townships. If you go to East London, where it's nice, you travel 30 minutes away, you'll find townships. townships. And that's what the governments did. They took all the nice things, and then they put all the brown people away over there. And then how we used to travel was via taxis. So now that's when... You wake up early in the morning, 16 people in one taxi, and then the taxi drives you all the way to town to work. And you couldn't be there after a certain time. Police used to stop you and say, hey, what are you doing here? You're not... What? Yeah. Then you'd have to show what they call a dompas. Dompas. It was almost like, imagine if you had to carry a passport, but walking around in your own country. So black people had to carry on what they call... Dompas. Dompas. And then go back to the township and take their taxi back home 30 minutes later. So when I was growing up, I didn't like taxis because of that reason. I didn't like it because it was a lot of people. You had to wake up early. Fortunately, my parents used to take me to school. So when I got to Joburg, I was like, as soon as I got money, I was like, I don't want to do this taxi thing. Started driving maxi cabs. Then Uber came and I was like, I'm sorted for life. And that is why I don't have a car. What a long way to take. <laughs> Two questions at once. Two questions at once. My goodness, politics and transport. Help me. Does it make sense? No. no. Black people love their townships. We even have songs about, about our townships. Black people were moved from Sapphire Town, forcefully removed from Sapphire Town, moved to a place called Meadowland. Burnt down businesses, broken down houses, they stayed in Meadowlands. You know what black people did? They came up with a song. Meadowlands, Meadowlands, Meadowlands is town or some. Which means Meadowlands, 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 Meadowlands is town or some. Meadowlands, my love. Which means we embrace the crappy place. <laughs> White people, when a place is crappy, you guys leave. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you sing as well, but you sing as you leave. <laughs> and you tell everybody, start spreading the name. <laughs> I'm leaving essays. <laughs> Welcome to Dad, Why'd You Do That? This is not our dad, it's our auntie. Wait, is it Auntie Shadow or Auntie Grandma Shadow? <laughs> I prefer both. 
Auntie Grandma, if, if it makes you Auntie comfortable. Grandma, Auntie Grandma Shadow. Fantastic. Now, you must tell me your names. My name is Bui Kujo, or just call me Kujo for short. Kujo. My name is Oshugileo, or you can call me Shooks. Oshugileo. 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 Yeah. The different one. Mm. Is that what it means? Yes. yes. And what does yours mean? Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. I like that. So. We know you are a job, judge with SA's Got Talent. Um, how, is it feel, how did it feel working with our dad? Your dad was a, one of the best people I've ever worked with. He was funny all the time. If, I mean, I, I, did, I didn't know how to take him seriously. That's how funny he was. Did you watch the show? Mm-mm. We only found out about it today. Are you kidding? Mm-mm. Oh, my goodness. So we got to go watch it together. All right. And get, I've got recordings of it. She is a judge in ETV's Essays Got Talent. But before we meet Shadow Twala, let's take a look at her career highlights so far. Audiences know her as one-third of the Essays Got Talent judging panel. But Shadow Twala has been in the media industry for over two decades. Oh my God, you know, very exciting. She began her career as part of the original DJ lineup for Metro FM in 1986. Radio for me was a newfound freedom. She quickly made a name for herself as a sought after MC and journalist and in 1989 became the first woman of color to present at the OK TV Awards. Front page of the Sunday Times, because it was a big story. And as the third season of SA's Biggest Talent Show prepares to hit our small screens, Shadow is once again reprising her role as a judge. People are so passionate about what they bring onto that stage. And for me, it, it gives me hope about where we are in South Africa and where we're going. So that for me is very exciting. So you never saw your dad working? Mm-mm. Well, he was funny. He was very funny, but very good at his work. You know your dad. You mm. know. He's, he's, he's a guy. He's a guy's guy. Is there any talent that, that we can judge that you have? Oh, I can dance, an old kind of dance. When I was little, I, I used to be a ballroom dancer and I actually won an award in the early 70s. But I also grew up doing the twist. So do you know what the ballroom dancing is about? No. You don't? No. When people kind of hold each other like that um. you know, and, and, and they do, that's ballroom. Okay. And then there's the twist where, where I, you know, as a little child, your age actually, it was the most popular dance when we grew up. So I, I can do the twist and maybe you want to, yes. how, how are you going to judge me if you don't know what it's supposed to look like? Don't worry, I've got judging capabilities. Oh, then here we go. Must I, must I do it? Woo. Let's go hit the beat. Serious, serious. How am I doing? Nice, I hey. like it. done this for so long but you guys did well and it's easy huh yes so tell me what how you think i did what out of 10 what did i get 10 i got all 10 yes Yay! (laughs) (laughs) we'll see you in the next round there's the next round oh i must go practice some more and also when did you get to be the judge how old are you oh i can't remember i'm too old to remember my age now so i can't remember 10 years 9 10 15 years ago i don't know i can't remember so if you 
get my age now and calculate. We'll need a calculator. To, no, to, we have mine. To count, eh? Hey? We have mine. How old are you now? Shall I tell you? Mm-hmm. 64. 64. <laughs> I could see you go, ooh. And when was, and how long ago did you do this? Uh, I can't remember. We'll have to ask your dad. We haven't done it. Yeah, he's we, 38 we, years old. He, we, we, did, we did it for nine years, I think. Uh, and I think it ended just uh, 2017, 2014, maybe. 2017, 2014. I think it ended round about there. 2014. 2014. 2014. Or 2015. So, so is nine your mind years doing ago. the math? So, nine years ago. Yeah. So, if you are 60, how old are you now? 64. 64. 64, 60. you would have been. I can see your mind's going. Tick, 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 tick. Fifty-five years old. Isn't it I think so. Mm, Fifty-five. Round about then, depending on whether you took the nine or the eight. And also, um, when did you like start? Like, when did you start using glasses? <sighs> I started using glasses when I was very little at school, and then. I stopped using them when I got to high school because I thought, no, I, I can see. And then much later, I think I was about 44, 45, then I started using glasses uh, because I could tell my eyesight, I couldn't read without them. So I just keep them on now instead of losing them and looking for them, you know. So I just keep them on my face the whole time because... Otherwise, you look for them and they're on your head. You say, where are my glasses? And you can't see them. <laughs> they're like that over there, you know? <laughs> so I decided I'm just going to keep them on my face. Now I want to ask you why you're doing this show. Why are we doing the show? Mm-hmm. Um, I think the reason that I'm doing it, um, first of all, um, Daddy gave us the idea of mm. starting the show two months ago when we were doing home recording. Um, and then he told us that there were, that he had a friend, which was Uncle Simi, mm. uh, um, that works the studio, that has the studio. Um, and so then the first time we came here, as soon as we started recording, we like had a vibe with the recording you had a vibe mm-hmm. with it wow okay um, i'm getting that vibe too right now mm. and then i just liked recording ever since and i like recording because like i get to talk to people yes ask my own questions be myself say it with me that's the beauty of of just what i used to do on radio as well You could invite people to the radio station and just talk to them for hours about what they do, what they like, and what interests them. And that's why I want to know what interests you specifically. And also, I have a question for you. Oh, no. Okay. Are you going to answer mine first or you you want to ask the the question first? The same thing that I said. Oh, okay. So ask me then your question. Um, For my question was, when you were a kid and now... What's your favorite food? <gasps> I eat curry almost every day. Curry. I love curry. I love hot food. I love anything that's spicy and hot and lovely. I love it. It's just like our mom. Listen, your mom must come cook for me. <laughs> or invite me when she's cooked. Then mm. we can have spicy food together. But I love hot food. Even from when I was little, I, I can eat it all day, every day. What food do you like? KFC what? and McDonald's. Are those your favorite foods? KFC and McDonald's. That's what Dad buys us. Doesn't Dad cook? No. no. But he's just said that he'll start. He will start. Mm. Well, maybe I can I can help give him recipe books so mm. he can read and measure so that he doesn't poison you. Because if he doesn't know how to cook, then he'll poison you. Yeah, that dad, he's going to help <laughs> you get recipe books. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to get, but back, you must promise that you're going to help him cook. So you must cook together. Mm-hmm. And stories that come out in the kitchen only come out in the kitchen. 
So you must learn to chop, 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 add a bit of your salt, add a bit, cut some tomatoes. You know, it's all fun. And you must mess the kitchen up. Dad will clean. <laughs> don't, don't tell him I said it. Okay. So yeah, dad will clean. You can mess up anything you want. Okay. Cool? Yep. Yes. Thank you, Auntie Shadow, or Auntie Grandma Shadow, <laughs> for being on the show today. And I'm ready for the next round when you call me again. Okay? All right. Thanks for having me. I can't wait to see you on television. All Thank right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for today. We'll see you guys next time. That's Dad. Why'd you do that? I guess it's sleep time. Yes, those questions are the most boring questions. Nobody wants to know our street names. Of course I do. Yeah, you can ask me that at home. No one's going on their phones, looking at their phones, going, I hope they ask what street name they lived at before the street name they lived at now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, Dad? Yes? What's your favorite thing to cook? 